a native of the Netherlands who obtained stock from a dynasty of the best marathon-type pigeons and in due course made a valuable contribution to that same dynasty. A fancier who made Nevis Amir known far and wide throughout Europe and the world. Marie and Van Giel and the great Jan Koels, another enthusiast for Jan Ardens, were a partnership but decided to separate and thereafter went to Steenbergen to obtain long-distance pigeons to build up their own families. The only proviso being that the stock obtained had to be based on the old Jan Ardens. Marie and Van Giel acquired some birds from a fancier named Van Eitmal. He was the best friend of Arden and could get all the pigeons he wanted from him. Van Eitmal gave to Van Giel five eggs, two of which became the sire and dam of the famous 500, one of the best long-distance racers and also a superb breeder. Two more youngsters from the same pair were also to join the Van Giel colony that year and along with two more birds, Lichtenberg and the old 59, bred by Van Giel from the big cock from Stofland. With these few pigeons Van Giel laid the base for what were to become perhaps the best distance birds in the world. Later two other pigeons were introduced to his loft, the first national St. Vincent winner of Willem van den Berg, and the first international Barcelona winner of Pie van der Slick. This formed the basis of the wonderful Van Giels. However, the future success of this family of pigeons did not come about through the chance matings of blue-blooded birds. No. The owner epitomized the thinking fancier and hours of thought went into preparing the groundwork for his potential enterprise. As the master breeder, which he was, Marie and Van Giel's course was that of inbreeding, in fact he was always reluctant to cross other pigeons, into his family. This strategy paid off dividends for within a brief period of time. Van Giel was considered one of the very best Dutch fanciers especially from the start of the 1960s onwards. Perhaps most important of all that this master of breeding technique kept the Ardens as they were during the 1950s. For even 25 years after the death of Arden, the Van Giel Ardens were true to type and performance. What a family! It includes the famous Dahl and Lang, Bond 62, Old 54, Old 59 and numerous others including Vlicht whose bloodlines were the fertile soil from where champions blossomed within Holland and beyond. There is no doubt that Van Giel was an outstanding master of the pigeon art and indeed, in the opinion of many, a genius of the sport. In 1967, the crass white pencock was born in Nevis Amir. In the beginning as nobody but soon he got the name Dahl, this because he already liked to play in the nest and after the flights had the habit of flying for a long time. Because of his special appearance of physique and a superior colored eye. Marian quickly recognized his breeding value. But first Marian kept flying with Dadal, and it took until mid-1975, until he saw his many good racing performances crowned as an eight-year-old pigeon by winning twice a third national in four weeks' time. Let us consider the great Dal who died in 1985 at the age of 18. This great pigeon participated in 17 races and won 17 prizes including 1st Provincial St. Vincent against 1,684 birds, 3rd National St. Vincent against 6,844 birds, 1st Provincial Dax against 1,032 birds, 3rd National Dax against 3,649 birds, 9th Provincial Limoges against 1,610 birds. 12th National St. Vincent against 6,917 bird. 20th Provincial Chateau Roux against 2,176 birds. 22nd Provincial Chateau Roux against 2,425 birds. 39th Provincial Moulangs against 5,146 birds. 59th Provincial Moulangs against 4,612 birds. 66th National Dax against 3,561 birds. Vlicht was a grandson of the Dahl and he won a car in the National from Dax which confirmed the breeding potential of the Dahl which won a car in the St. Vincent National and lost by a few seconds another car in the Dax race, and this was when he was 8 years old. Even today the Dahl bloodlines remain quite potent for Martha Van Giel, the wife of the late Marian who returned to the sport after a period of absence and was 12th in the Barcelona National in the year 2000. Sadly in 1983, 
Marie and Van Giel died and from all over the world came requests to buy Marie's entire colony. However his wife Martha decided to go on racing and breeding the birds on her own. During the following years McKeel became Martha's right-hand man since she knew that her husband had taught this young man well and she continually asked McKeel for his advice. McKeel became her loft manager and in this capacity advised, paired and selected racing and breeding pigeons in order to continue Marian's work. His payment was not money, but pigeons from the best breeders and racers of the Van Giel loft. In February 1989, Martha Van Giel decided to sell all her old pigeons. McKeel compiled the sale catalog since there was no one more knowledgeable about the Van Giel family to prepare this catalog. McKeel was also the auctioneer and the sale of 168 pigeons realized a world record result. The pigeons were sold for 770,000 Dutch guilders in appreciation of the life's work of Marie and Van Giel. At that moment, there were already 140 original Van Giel pigeons at McKeel Wixloft, bred only from the best racers and breeders and therefore the Van Giel strain was saved for the future. During the years, McKeelbwick had more than 300 original Van Giel pigeons at his loft and he cherished them like they were nuggets of gold but at the same time he did not hesitate to eliminate any pigeons, not coming up to his high standards. In the past even children of the doll, the Lang and Vlich ended their career in a dustbin, just and only because they did not fulfill the high standards set by McKeel and he eliminated over 50% of the 300 direct Van Giel birds. Only pigeons, bred from the very best Van Giels and moreover with the thoroughbred characteristics of this Gen Arden strain were allowed to stay and by applying these standards McKeelbwick saved the strain of Van Giel from a total crumbling. McKeelbwick has been very successful with the Van Giel pigeons and he proved once again how valuable the Van Giel strain has been and still is. Martha decided to continue the pigeon sport independently. She met her current partner Heinz Kramer more than 25 years ago. Together they have also been very successful on the marathon flights for years. Martha is responsible for, among other things, the administration, checking eggs, ringing youngsters, etc. She also takes care of the training of the pigeons in the absence of Heinz. Heinz also takes care of the total care such as cleaning, feeding, etc. During training, Heinz takes the pigeons away and they are met by Martha. They basket the pigeons in the strong basketing center of Hooger High together. The basis of the current colony still largely consists of the original Gen Arden pigeons. In addition, Franz, Franz Heidboer, also plays an important role in the current stock building. Cock Franz himself was an excellent Barcelona racer, second ace pigeons Lou in 1994 and produced several good racing pigeons for breeding. The cock Quasimodo was bred from descendants of the Dahl, Hetvlicht and Franz. Quasimodo was never raced and he was immediately placed in the breeding loft at a late young age because of his origin, construction and appearance. He developed into a super breeder and the basis of many of the current successes. In 2019, Martha Van Giel is the glorious winner of the prestigious PIPA IATP ranking. For this championship, the first nominated pigeon in the six international extreme long-distance races in which all countries participate, Pau, Barcelona, St. Vincent, Marseille, Narbonne and Perpignan, counts. Thank you for watching. Until next time.